Hey guys, and welcome to our Flight Test Tech channel. This is our channel where you're gonna find unboxings, reviews, informational stuff, pretty much anything you need to help you along in your RC journey. And today we got our FT Aura 5 Lite. And we did a couple of videos on this already, but this one specifically is gonna show you how to set up your FR Sky transmitter. And not only that, you can use some of these steps to set up other radio protocols such as Futaba, JR, and so on. So without further ado, let's hop into it and I'm gonna show you how to set up your FR Sky receiver with our FT Aura Lite 5. You're gonna need a couple of things here. You're gonna need your, obviously your Aura Lite and then whatever receiver you're gonna choose. And I have two options right here. I have the smaller XM Plus and then I have a X8R, which is a full size receiver FR Sky makes. And you could do it on either as long as it has an S bus. So I'm gonna show you how to do it on the XM Plus. Um, but if you do have a conventional receiver with S bus, you can use that too. All right, so first when you open your Aura Lite, you're gonna notice a couple of things. You have your charge cable, the Aura Lite, uh, instruction pamphlet, a servo wire, and some sticky foam. What I'm concerned about here is the Aura Lite, and we're gonna use our servo lead right here. Now, if you are using a conventional receiver, such as this X8R, you can go ahead and just use this cable we provide, plug one side into S bus, and then you're gonna go ahead, let me open this Aura Lite, and you're gonna go ahead and plug in the other side straight into the S bus port. But since I am not using this receiver, I'm gonna go ahead and chop the end off and solder directly to my XM Plus. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Now once you chop that off, you have your bare ends and you're gonna strip those back a little. I like to use your side snips, but if you have strippers, you can go ahead and use that. And I just apply a little pressure and strip each one a little bit back. Now that I have all my ends stripped, I'm gonna go ahead and tin those with my soldering iron. Once you've tinned your wire, you're gonna wanna go ahead, and this is already tinned on my end because it's a receiver I took out of my drone, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you, just you're gonna wanna tin each pad on your receiver. Now with this XM Plus receiver, you have the three pads here. And I know just from personal experience that the one closest to LEDs is S bus, the one in the middle is five volt, and the one at the end right here is ground. But if you ever second guess yourself, make sure to go back online and double check that wiring diagram either on Google or FR Sky website to verify that you're gonna solder the wires in the correct order. So what I'm gonna do is take my orange wire right here that's supplied in the servo lead, that's gonna be my signal, and I'm gonna solder that to S bus. Then the red wire is gonna to solder to five volt, and my brown wire right here is gonna solder to ground. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And if you guys aren't that comfortable with soldering, make sure to go and check out, I did a video a little bit ago, probably about a year ago now actually, on basic soldering tips. So if you guys are uncomfortable, definitely go give that a watch before you solder something this small. All right, so now that we got our XM Plus all soldered up, it's pretty much just plug it right into the board and we're gonna be ready to go. Then we're gonna hop over into our transmitter and I'm gonna show you how to set up your transmitter model. And Flex was really thinking about this because when we go ahead and set up our transmitter, it's pretty easy. It runs pretty much off the default template that FR Sky has in their transmitter. So let's go ahead and plug it into our board and then get our model set up. Now, when you're plugging it into your board, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the signal in the right direction, your ground and power. So what I'm gonna do is open up our manual here because it's a little bit easier to see. And if you look at your manual, you're gonna see the top pin right here is gonna be signal. So this is the S bus uh, pins right here we're working with. So our top pin up here is gonna be signal. Our middle pin is gonna be positive and our bottom pin towards the trim button is gonna be negative. So it's actually sitting just like this on the picture. So we're gonna have negative, positive, and then up top is S bus. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in like so. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go into our FR Sky transmitter. And I'm using an X9D. 
Uh, it could be pretty much any transmitter out there through FR Sky. It's whatever receiver protocol. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set up a new model. So I'm gonna go down into my models and go to one that's not used, which right here, if you see, is model 16. We're gonna go ahead and enter model 16. You're gonna long press your enter, and then we're gonna create a model. We're obviously gonna be flying our airplane right here. We have our simple cup. So I'm gonna hit enter on that. Channel one is gonna be throttle. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the next page. Channel two is going to be ailerons, which is correct. We're gonna go to the next page. Does your model have flaps? No, go to the next page. Does your model have air brakes? No, go to the next page. Which is the tail config on your model? That's gonna be correct to your first model. Channel three is gonna be your elevator and channel four is gonna be your rudder. So we're gonna go ahead and go next. Now, if you did it right, you're gonna to get to this screen and you're gonna have throttle as channel one, ailerons as channel two, elevator as channel three and rudder as channel four. And it's telling me to enter long press to confirm. So I'm gonna hold in enter. And there we go, model 16 is set up. So the next thing that you're gonna to have to do is set up a three position switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit page. We're gonna to go to the next one. And we're all gonna go all the way over to our inputs. And right here in the inputs page, you're gonna to wanna to go down to, oh, you're gonna to wanna to go down to your channel five. So once you get to channel five, you're gonna hold enter again. Once you enter your inputs tab here, you're gonna go down and we're gonna to go to where it says source. And this is where we're gonna pick a three position switch. So I'm gonna hit enter, it should flash and highlight. And then I like using one of these up here, my SB switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip my SB. And there you go, as soon as you see it switched to SB, you're gonna hit enter. And now we can back out of this page. And that's pretty much everything you need to do to set up your model inside your transmitter. Everything else is gonna be done with the Aura Light. So we can go ahead and put this to the side. Now that we got our receiver all soldered up to our Aura Light and our model set up, now we're gonna install this into our aircraft. But to make it easier on me and easier for you guys to see, I'm gonna plug in everything outside of the airplane. So now if you open up your manual that you received inside your kit, you're gonna notice that S1 is gonna be throttle and that our signal wire is gonna be on the top pin, which is facing the front of the aircraft. So here's our throttle, and remember, signal goes towards the front of the board. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that into S1. Now if you look at your manual again, S2 is gonna be left aileron, and then S3 is gonna be right aileron. And remember, make sure your signal wire is always going up towards the front of the board. We're gonna plug in aileron, left aileron into two, and we're gonna plug in right aileron into three. Now the next two ports right there, S4 is gonna be for your elevator, and S5 is going to be for your rudder. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug those in as well. Okay, now that I have all our server wires plugged into our Aura light, I have our receiver soldered on. I'm gonna go ahead and power up the unit and make sure all the lights come on. As you can see, we have power going to our board. It's cycling through all the lights. And then we also have power going to our receiver. Now this cycling of all the lights, it's trying to search and detect a receiver. But since we're not bound on the XM Plus yet, it's never gonna sense a receiver at all. So what we have to do is go ahead and bind our FR Sky first before it can detect what kind of receiver we have. And if you guys don't know how to bind or set up your models on an FR Sky, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and check out the video. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. I go through in depth how to set up models and how to bind your FR Sky receiver, but I'm gonna do it really quick now. 
and all you have to do is hold in the bind button while you power it on and while you're in bind mode on your FR Sky. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, now that we have our FR Sky receiver bound to our transmitter, you'll notice it goes through the light cycle and once it senses the FR Sky protocol, it stops and it cycles the control surfaces and that's what it just did. So now what we're gonna do is double check to make sure all our control surfaces are going properly. And if they are, I'll be out in the field flying in no time. Make sure you guys go ahead and check all the other videos about the Aura Light in the description below. That's gonna give you your bench setup, your field setup, and pretty much everything you need to know. And if you want to read a little bit more about the Aura Light, make sure to check out flighttest.com backslash FT Aura 5. And that's where you're gonna find all your GUIs, your manuals, and all these videos right there. So thanks for checking it out guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.